Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Scandinavian delights. These are fruit spreads. I have the apricot, the raspberry, boysenberry, wild blueberry, blackberry, and blackcurrant. And I know you all probably know that TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls, it's all really the same under the same ownership. So we found these at both Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Um, the one, two, three, the first four were from Home Goods and they were five ninety nine each. The last two were from uh, TJ Maxx. There's one that was priced more expensive and I wonder if it was just an accident. Um, this one, the Blackberry, was marked six ninety nine, and then the Black Current was still five ninety nine. So I think they all should be five ninety nine, and that one was just marked wrong. But we didn't notice it, so, and I wouldn't have questioned it anyway. I don't think it would have done any, any good to question it. I did go through before, right before we started the video and I popped the tops on all of them so I wouldn't be struggling. Um, but this, uh, it says they were Scandinavian Delights was established in 1834. I think that's interesting. Um, and this is the apricot. It says, uh, using a special and unique process, our spreads are produced to preserve consistency, authentic flavor, and homemade taste. The apricot is a subtropical stone fruit that has been raised for the last 4,000 to 5,000 years. Uh, today we grow, uh, to, no, today ELKI, I guess that's the group that makes this, uh, grows their own apricots in warm sunny climates to create large and juicy fruit. You'll notice large slices of apricot in every jar. So yeah, that is their website. It's www.elki.com. It's Orkla Foods in Denmark. And um, in one tablespoon is 39 calories. I like the shapes of their jars too. Really I do nice. too, because you know why? Because you can get a regular size spoon down in here. Mm -hmm. And they're good size jars. And they have a good texture too. It's not really thick and dry. It's you know, it's got hunks of apricots in there. Mm-hmm. Just like I said. I like that. It's got a good fruity flavor, but it's got a little punch of tartness in there. Yes, it has Not a tart tart, but really just a little bit. Just a little bit. It has the tartness of like you would expect to get out of an orange, but yeah. not quite so no, tart. More like a peach tartness. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Peach yeah. is fine. That's good. I, I like do that. like it. It tastes very fresh. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of it. It's texture kind is of, wonderful. It's kind of like in a in a gel, but it's a thick, thick gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Um this is the raspberry. And it says, um, growing raspberries was the first, was first known to have taken place in the 15th century. Hmm. Now they're one of the most popular berries worldwide. Um, Elkie's raspberries are only picked when perfectly ripe and bright with color, creating the perfect raspberry spread. And I'm sorry if I'm saying the name of the group wrong. It's, E-L-K-I, so to me that's like Elky. Um, one tablespoon, 19 grams is 44 calories. I think it's nice that they actually give you that information on the jar because most companies don't tell you anything about mm -hmm. what you're eating uh, as far as jams and jellies and preserves on the jar. So this is chunky. I like it though, it's still, like, a, like I said, it's still mm -hmm. loose. It's still got some liquid in there. Lots of seeds. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Good flavor, but if you don't like all the seeds, you would hate that. Or if you can't have seeds. I don't know that I like that many seeds. It's a lot of seeds. It really is. And um, it gets all in your teeth. And there are, I, they might do a seedless raspberry. It still has the same great flavor, but without the seeds. If seeds bother you at all, then you wouldn't want to buy this because like right now, I have seeds in my teeth, yeah. in, in the back of my teeth. So, um. That's something I love the flavor. I mm -hmm. love the texture, but the seeds when you're eating, it's just too much. And for me personally, if, like I said, if you don't mind the seeds, it's really good. I've gone through jars of raspberry with the seeds, but it's more pleasurable to eat without. Mm -hmm. It just is. Um, this is the boysenberry. Uh, boysenberries are a hybrid of raspberries, blackberries, and 
longinberries with a distinctive flavor and intense red purple color. Harvested in March, Elkie's premium boysenberries come from New Zealand. Mm. Um, one tablespoon is 40 calories. Yeah, Makes you pretty... appreciate them more when you know they're coming all the way from New Zealand. It looks like this is pretty seedy too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet. And not as many seeds either. Mm -mm. No, but it does have seeds. It does, but it's like, this is like a third as many seeds as the, as the blackberry. It very much the raspberry, sorry. reminds me of a sweet, sweeter blueberry is what that reminds me of. Mm -hmm. it, it has more sweetness to me than blueberry, but it does taste like similar, very similar to a blueberry. I like that a lot. I do too. Be, um, and I like it more, I love raspberry, but I like it more than the raspberry because it is sweeter, but it doesn't have the, all those seeds. Yeah. Uh, like I said, if they do a seedless, I'd probably enjoy that more. Yep. Um, this is wild blueberry, um, grown wild in cold climates. These berries flourish in daylight 24 hours a day. Our unsprayed wild blueberries are much smaller and more flavorful than the blueberries grown in the United States. Uh, one tablespoon, 19 grams is 41 calories. So they said they're smaller, smaller. Oh, I, you know what, as Americans, more, more full of as Americans, I'm sure, now I don't know this, but I would think that we would specifically grow ours bigger because that would be more appealing to other people. No. You want big, when you're paying so much for something in the produce department, you want the biggest, plumpest berry you can get. So people probably wouldn't, in America, you probably wouldn't it appeal to Americans if it was a teeny tiny thing. So I'm sure they're right about that. I think you do get more flavor from a small berry because it's more compact. It's terrific. Mm, it's good. The texture. Yeah, it's got like the, the skin mm -hmm. and yes. the pulpy part of the blueberry, the inside part. Yes. Mm. So so you do get the pieces of the skin, but they're not tough. Mm -mm. They're yeah. a different texture from the gel, but it's just something a little something extra to bite into. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any toughness to it and it doesn't get stuck in your teeth. The flavor very, very fresh, very strong. It's good. It's delicious. Yep. Um, this is the blackberry. Dark in color and smooth in flavor and texture. Blackberries are closely related to the raspberry and are known as a good source of antioxidants and vitamin C. They're also known to make a wonderful cobbler or pie. One tablespoon is 38 calories. I would have think this has seeds in it. Just like the raspberry did. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's a, um, it's chunky, but it's not thick. It's kind of a, a thin. Uh, it's a thinner jam or a preserve to me, or spread fruit spread. Um, but it does have seeds in it. It's not, it doesn't have near the flavor of the one, the previous. No, and the flavor it has, it's not a personal favorite. I never really like blackberries so much, but. I it, do think it's, it's sweet. Good. It just doesn't have as much flavor. Right. Um, it's nice. I could eat a whole jar, but yeah, it's just not strong in your face. This, we're trying this last because we've had plenty of black currant and normally it is strong. strong. Um, harvested in Scandinavia in midsummer, black currants ripen from a green fruit to a very dark, almost black color with a beautiful, glossy appearance. The intense and bright taste makes this spread very special. One tablespoon is 40 calories. And usually intense is a good word to use. But it's basically a different kind of raisin, basically. The flavor of that 
is more intense than all the rest. Mm -hmm. It reminds you a little bit of the blackberry, a little bit. It's a stronger flavor though. It is. I like the texture. I could definitely eat it. It, it, but I would probably, I would, I don't know. I was going to say I'd probably save it for less, but I don't know because I really do like it. It's, you just can't compare it to anything else here because yeah, some of the other ones are just so, just straight up sweet that this one, there's a sharpness to it. Uh, I still like it a lot though. It's okay. I really do like this brand. Oh yeah, the brand is like, it's almost like homemade. I mean, Yes, literally. we also saw, and, and I just want to smack myself for not buying it. Kevin spotted when we were in, we had been to Home Goods first and we bought a bunch. And then we went to TJ Maxx. And of course you can't, I didn't expect to see these in TJ Maxx. And you can't remember what you've bought, or I can, all the ones I bought previously. So we saw a jar of strawberry, just straight up strawberry sitting there. And Kevin said, I don't think that's one of the ones we bought in Home Goods. And I was like, yeah, but I don't know. And I didn't want to spend $6 on if we had just bought a jar, and so I left it. Well, it kills me that I left it because they do have a strawberry. They also have a lingonberry because I'm actually, I bought the lingonberry, but I bought another brand of lingonberry. So I'm gonna be comparing, the, we're gonna be comparing the two to see which one has the best, the best one. yes, which one is the best lingonberry flavor. So you will see this brand again, but it's gonna be kind of like a blind taste test type thing. I don't know if it'll be blind, but it'll be a taste test. Um, I like, I like, I, I, I think I would get any of them. My favorites are the yeah. boysenberry and probably the apricot. And um, it probably would have been the strawberry if we'd gotten it. Because I, I love know. strawberry. Well, I know I regret it so much. Well, if I could just remember these and if there was more than the... But you know what? Those TJ Maxx and Home Goods, it's, it's one of those places. More. They'll probably never have this brand again. Um, and we do not have this brand in our stores. No, never never it heard before. of it before this, never seen it before. So yeah, we won't have any chance of getting any more. I'm going to say that boysenberry was my overall favorite. Yeah, mine too. But then I'm going to go with the wild blueberry. No. Um, and then I'm going to go with the... Hmm, I really like that black currant. I think I'll go with the black currant for my number three. So just totally different from you, but I do like Well, we them. both like boysenberry first. Yeah, boysenberry, if, if you can't get any other one, if you can only afford to buy one, I would buy the boysenberry. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever had this brand before, um, I know Georgianne had left a comment, I believe it was Georgianne, when we did the grocery haul saying that she's had uh, different flavors. I'd love, Georgianne, if you would leave that comment below again so that people watching this video will know what other flavors are out there and which ones to try. And thanks for watching.